Make sure you stick around to the end of this video to find out how you can win a copy of this awesome game. This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome to a niche, a genetic survival game. So this game just released today and they asked me to take a look at it again because I did a first look at it way back when and uh, you know I said I would check it out again and uh, they asked me to so we're checking it out today we're just gonna we're gonna start from scratch here new world I uh, want to play with outdated save games no I wanna I don't want that I want a brand new yes we're just gonna delete all this and start a new game here we are in a brand new game now I'm doing story mode there's two versions there's story mode and then there's sandbox I decided to do the story mode because I thought it would be cool so here we are. These are our little, our little niche cat things. I, I don't know what they're called, but they're cute. And you know, who doesn't like cute stuff? Oh no, oh no. Hide, hide, you're gonna get eaten. Hide, oh no. Oh, that's a horrible way to start. It's so sad. It's like a Disney movie. Oh, oh, it's still going, it's still going. He's running, no, he's he's caught. He's gonna, he's gonna get dropped somewhere random and have to survive all alone. Okay, so maybe it's not quite, well, it's still kind of like a Disney movie. Anyway, here we are. We managed to live. We're gonna wake up. And now we're all alone. We have to start our own brand new tribe. Now this game is a survival game, but it's not a survival game like other survival games that you're used to. Uh, it's a it's a genetic based survival game. So your whole thing is based around genetics So we're gonna look around uh, Stranded on an island far away from home And there's a lot of new stuff here that I'm not quite familiar with uh, Click Adam and then okay, so this is our little guy. This is Adam. You know, Adam and Eve, of course, your first one has to be Adam. Wow, this has got a ton of... It uh, looks great from the last time. I mean, it looked good the last time I played it, but it's, uh, it's come a long way here. So, if I remember right, you click the pause to move there, and then we have options. So, like, you can attack or uh, collect fruit. And if I remember right, you use food... You use food up every time you make a move. So let's just pop on over here and see. Um, seems you're not injured. That's good news. It was a long day. Time to get some sleep. Click the end of the day button at the top of the screen. Um, tip: You can press space to end the day. So, so this is our this is our sun. These look like arrows at first. I thought this was like some type of arrow thing. Okay, so this is a this is ends our day, or we could just hit space. Uh, we can use the WAS and D keys to move around and R and F to zoom in and out. Oh, you can get really, you can get up in there all close, all up in it. Um, let's see, what else do we got here? Right click, uh, you can right click to change your angles. That's cool. I like it where it was. And Q, E, T, G to tilt. Um, Move around, find berries. Okay, can we get rid of this? Let's just get rid of this. I'm I'm pretty sure the majority of this game is the same. So we need to collect fruit, and uh, these little little dots here, that's our moves per turn. So we only have two. So I'm just gonna collect more fruit, and then we're gonna end the day. We need to find somebody soon because we can die. And if we die, we have nobody can. Eventually, this little guy is gonna die. He has an age. He has genetics, all kinds of stuff. What is this? This is new here. Mutations. Oh, that's awesome. What's this here? Oh, you can see their tree. Oh, wow. Look at this is completely different. This stuff was all just, you know, basic before. Just a, you can like see how close they are to like a different mutation and stuff. That is so awesome. Okay. So let's, uh, we got, we got 22 fruit. Let's move over here because you check the bushes, you can find stuff. So reads, claw away at the foliage, small chance to find a nest material. Okay, let's do that. Nope, nothing. Okay, so now we're going to end our day. Luckily, we're still young when they get older and they're more grown up. They'll have three moves per turn. So you can see we only have two, so we're still relatively young here. Uh, I think what we want to do is we want to grab a berry 
Oh, we got a couple berries. And then can we just pop on over to here? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we'll make a full move that way. And uh, then we'll skip to our next turn. Now we just grew up. Now we're full grown. So now what we need to find is a nest relatively soon and a partner to start mating. Because if we can't mate, we can't continue on our lineage and we, you know our race will die out more or less. Because you know your 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 survival is dependent on breeding and creating more. Uh, try to dig up the ground. Low chance to seed because of low digging ability. Oh, interesting. Uh, let's crawl away to find more nesting material. I don't know if we're actually finding any. Uh, move Anna to the flower uh, port and interact with points uh, travel stone. Oh, I wonder if that's that there. So these, I guess, are how you eventually travel to like different islands. Okay, so we're going to do what the tutorial says because the tutorial tells us to do that. And I assume that's what we need to do. We might not be able to find any nesting material. This might just be tutorial island. So this is probably what we should do here. So uh, can we just pop on over like that? And then there we go. All animals on port fields migrate to another island. Animals outside the port uh, leave the tribe and will be gone forever. Okay, good to know, good to know. So we can constantly just travel to different islands and stuff with our entire tribe. So if you have like a bunch of tribe that, that you know, of animals that's, that's not that great and you have like two really good ones, you can move them to the port and start over fresh. So that's kind of cool. Uh, this is a very tiny island, very, very tiny. Uh, let's see here. Let's let's clear away the grass. Yep. Oh, what's this? Is this is this a nest or is this just that might just be the way it looks? Uh, find the wild animal and offer it food to join your tribe. You can switch your perception mode in the bottom right corner of the screen. What's perception mode? I don't know what that I don't know what that does. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. There's a guy hiding over here or a girl. We can't see her when we're like this. We can't see her there either, but we can see her here. That's neat. That's awesome. I wonder if that's like a skill thing that they have. Uh, only certain ones can see different like things that's that's so cool this game is really good like i had i knew this game was going to be good when i did my first look at it way back when and i was right this game is really great they did a, a really good job on that on the on the whole thing okay let's see that we're out of moves so we're gonna have to go to our next turn oh an acorn fell okay so we'll collect our little guy here we're going to go over here and now What's this do? Nut. We can crack it open. Yep, let's do that. Oh, did we not? Did it not work? Oh, we have a low ch We have low cracking ability. That's fine. Let's talk to this one here. We can... Is that... No, we want this one here. So we can offer five food to join the tribe. Or we can... I know we definitely want to offer... Awesome! Uh, she decided to join the tribe. So that's great. Now we can control her. And what we can do... Uh, is mate. Oh, we need to build a nest. Can we do that? Yes. Okay. So cool. So now, uh, she should be preggers. She looks like she preggers. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Could just be the weird angle there. Uh, we'll, we'll see in a minute. Let's see. She can also crack open the nut. Will she? Okay, good. Oh, she did. She cracked it. Okay, awesome. So another thing we need to look at, oh, we got a baby already. There we go. So, oh, another nut fell. That's that's actually fantastic. I like food. So we, we have her selected. What we can do is we should be able to, yeah, you can see like the different genes and stuff that she has. And then this is our, this is our baby here. And you can see like the different genes that the baby got. Uh, and over here is like what she do. She's got two speed and it tells you what each of them can do. Uh, collecting, how many they collect. Oh, she's got really high collecting. And uh, her strength's not all that great. She's got two cracking. Uh, there's fishing ability. There's, oh, fertility. 
Ability to, so, oh, that's cool. That's new. That wasn't there when I played before. There wasn't a fertility. You always just got a baby. So there's a chance to, like now for them not to be fertile and not to be able to produce a baby. I wonder if it gets high enough if they produce twins. That would be cool. Or like multiple, like a whole litter. Uh, immunity to sickness. Just like tons of different stuff. And all these are things that you have to keep in mind uh, depending on like the island that you're on and... Uh, how it you know affects your little guys like right now we're on just this little little plane island and it's nothing too serious so like but um if you look at it on the steam store like it, the one of the pictures shows that it's got something living underwater there's like cold islands you know all kinds of crazy stuff so anyway uh we can't just keep breeding these two because eventually like it's going to we need a bigger gene pool. I mean, we can breed them for a while to get started, but we're going to need to mix in some new genes eventually. So we're eventually going to have to travel to a new island. So I think what I want to do, how many can we take? We can take four. So we're going to have one more baby, and then we will all move to here and travel to hopefully a bigger island. So for now, let's see. She has nothing. Can She, she can reach this here. So we only got one berry. Let's explore a little bit. What's this do? We can shake the tree. Okay. Oh, whoa, look at that. That's awesome. And uh, let's move. Let's move to here. And let's... Oh, I was hoping to... Is that another nest in there? There's another nest here. High grass. Clear away the... Yeah, see, there's another nest. That's cool. I wonder if there's another animal hidden in here. Well, there's a bunny. We can, we can eat those. Those are food. Okay, I don't see any other animals, but he has a really bad cracking ability. She, on the other hand, does not, so we can crack that nut and get more food. Food is very important. You can starve to death, so not only do you have to worry about genetics like any other survival game, you also have to worry about making sure that you, you have plenty of food. And like I said, moving uses food, so every time you move, you use some of your food. I think that's how it was before. Let's double check that real quick. I haven't been paying attention, so we move one. Oh no, now it's not. Is it just a day by day thing now? I swear it used to be when you moved, you used, you used food. So I'm wrong there. And it doesn't appear that that's still a thing anymore. Let's, let's clear high grass. Did that use food? No. So is it just one per? So if we have th three right now and we lose three, uh, that should put us at 15. So let's, let's check that out. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Well, first, let's actually let's gather this food here. So we only got one. So let's see how many we use. Okay, so apparently every day you use one food now per per little animal that you have. So the bigger your tribe, the more the more you need. Because I swear, if I, unless I'm losing my mind, unless my memory fails me, I swear that it, your food was your movement. Um, so, like, you could say you had six food. If these these two guys here used all of their moves, it would leave you with, like, uh, zero food at the end of that turn. And you had to get more for the next turn. I and then, like, you took damage, if I remember right. I don't know. It's been, a, it's been a, heck, a year or, or so since I've played this game, so... Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really remember. We got nothing there. Let's move her here. And then we're going to crack this nut. And then what we'll do is we'll move them back into position. Let's move baby. Can we select baby? Yeah, baby needs to get out of the nest and hang out there. Okay. Well, I guess it's easier now to manage because it, it was kind of a, a pain before if I remember right. But now, so it's, uh, you just got to keep in mind you need enough food Per each of your your little your little thingies, whatever these are called. I'm gonna call them cat creatures because they're they're cat like. They have cat ears. Okay, so let's see if we can mate again. Can we? If we have him selected. We no select her. Select him. There we go. Okay, so we'll get our next baby and we'll go to our next turn. I wonder if this little guy's got the nut cracking ability. Let's see. Can you move over here and crack this nut, little fella? Do you have to be on it? Oh, we lost the nut. Uh oh. Okay. So let's have dad shake the tree. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we got some nuts back. And uh, you got, can you move, you move here. You can be the berry shaker. And you can be the nutcracker. 
and uh, you don't have any more moves, and uh, then we'll go to the next turn. And now, let's see, can you crack this nut? Oh, you can. Good, you got your mama's nut cracking ability. I mean, I know I could have just looked at the gene tree or whatever, but this is fun. Okay, so let's move her here. Let's crack this nut, and let's get everybody moving to the old flower port down here. So this makes it a good bit easier now because you can move relatively far pretty quickly, except baby can't, baby. And I think if I remember right, the distance you can move per turn is based on your move speed, I think. Don't quote me on that. I'm still learning this game. I have to relearn it. Like I said, it's been a long time since I played it. This is the end of the tutorial. Your story begins here. Uh, will you search for the world? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, hopefully we don't lose our tribe of little people's little they're not people's little cat little cat people's little cat things whatever you want to call them let's see if we can move everybody and uh you crack the nut and then you move here and then you move here hopefully we can get baby over here oh baby no baby okay we're gonna have to skip another turn sucks because i'm gonna have to waste some food here and then now everybody should travel we should take them all so that was the tutorial we played through that that was fun and now we're going to get into the actual the actual game so this is the actual game itself now i guess so we're on another little tiny island this island isn't very big it's uh another small one but it's very dense very dense grass oh look we have the the thing you can actually move down into the water if you're aquatic I don't see a lot of food over here either. We're gonna have to kind of explore. We're gonna have to get some nesting materials, all of that good stuff. Okay, so let's start off here. Let's get that and we're gonna have to find food very quickly because we're gonna use a lot of food really fast. And oh, here's a nest, great. Okay, so the only two that we can breed right now though are still the mom and dad. I don't wanna breed any of these too, because for one that's incest and it does the same thing that happens when humans incest is the same thing that happens when animals you get bad genes and it's not good so I don't want to I don't want to breed them like that we need to we need to find some fresh genes to enter into the gene pool here so let's move do we got to clear the grass and then we'll move her here. Oh man, this is rough. She's wasting a lot of turns. Okay, so let's get dad over here. Let's tear down that grass. Let's tear down that grass. And we'll move baby one over here. Get rid of that. Oh, there's another nest there. God, we really need to find some food. We're hurting for food bad. Tear down that. Nothing. Oh, nobody, nobody is doing anything food wise here. We got, oh, berries, sweet. Okay, so collect the berries. Whew, I was really, really worried for a second there. I was like, oh my God, we're using four, four food per go. This is not good, this is not good at all. Okay, our baby, our baby grew up here, so now we can move mom to, oh, I think there's a rabbit hilt there too. So we're gonna move mom to the nest. We're going to select, no, we wanna select the dad. Select dad, move dad over here and uh, clear away, yeah, clear away the high grass there. And then once again, we're gonna get one more baby going with these two and then we're gonna use what the tribe we have to find some new genes. Can we clear away? Yeah, I wanna clear that and get a good view of the bush. What is your collecting ability? Who's got our best collecting ability right now as far as like berries go? Select gene to be mutated. Oh wait, I remember this because you could you could try to gain specific skills when you bred them. I'll have to get into that later. This is what I want right now. So your collecting ability is three, yours is three, yours is four, but you need to set in the nest. Um, and then dad's collecting ability is absolutely horrible. Dad's got good speed though, so I guess I guess you're only you're you're, you're the only chance we have right now of collecting berries. Wonder oh I keep no just highlight over it. There we go. I keep wanting to click it. So I wonder if we can move. You don't have the option to move. Clear away that grass there, and then move here, and then can you just hang out in the grass? Oh, you can. I wonder if you're hidden now. Okay, I don't know. We'll see. So let's go to the next turn. 
Oh, we're getting really low on food. Hopefully we can collect. Now we're going to start using five food per, and that, that is not good. And then we're out of berries. Okay, Dad, you need, oh, is this a new one? A new one showed up. Okay, so, yes, are you, wait, are you male or female? You are, what are you? I can't, where do we know? I think that's a male. Pretty sure, just from the looks of it. Highlighting over it doesn't tell you. Where do we know that at? What does that do? Oh, that just are like tells us, hey, a new baby's been born. Like, I don't know. It's setting right there. I don't know. I think you just distinguished by the looks. I'm pretty sure that's a male. I just want to double check. Oh, well, let's go ahead and get him in the tribe. Either way, that's new genes to enter into the our gene pool here. And then let's look at your, what do you got going on here? So you're brand new. Okay, yeah. So you're definitely a male. And uh, you really don't bring a lot to the table. Uh, what do you got here? You got hearing. Uh, you got cold resistance. That's that's okay. You, you got really bad heat resistance. Uh, yeah, so you're not you're not that great, but your new genes, your fresh genes, is what that's what we need. So that's good. But unfortunately, unfortunately, and I hate to go, I hate to minute. You know, these episodes are only twenty minutes. Like I wish I could make them longer, but y'all don't watch them longer, and it takes forever to upload when they're longer. So, but unfortunately, we've hit our wrapping up time. This has been niche. So before we wrap up this episode, I want to let everyone know that they did give me some keys to give away. So if you would like a copy of this game, I'm going to do a few different uh, giveaways here. I'm going to do one on Twitter. So if you want to try for that one, hop on over to Twitter. Uh, there will be uh, some info in the description of this video on how you can enter as well. And also on my Discord and the link to join my Discord is in the description of this video as well so it's three different ways you can win a key to this game if you like this game you and you think it looks neat it's trust me it's neat I, I think it's great it's it's an ingenious idea on on survival and it's a lot of fun and a lot of you know if you like to think there's a lot of thinking and planning that goes on into it so yeah if you want to try to win a copy of this you can win it on my twitter go check me out on twitter uh down in the description and uh hop on over to the discord it'll be in the announcements on the discord so before we go, I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all of your support. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to help support this channel through Patreon, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. And let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.